the world of military vehicles, there's a machine that blends innovation, practicality, and strength in a way that few others do. It's not as well known as some of its Western counterparts, yet it has earned its place in numerous armies across the world. The WZ-551 is a Chinese 6x6-wheeled armored vehicle that has been a game-changer for both the Chinese military and nations seeking a cost-effective yet powerful combat vehicle. But what makes this vehicle so special? Why has it been adopted by so many countries, and what are the secrets behind its design? Stick with us until the end of this video as we dive into the incredible story of the WZ-551, a true testament to the power of simplicity, versatility, and ingenuity. The story of the WZ-551 begins in the early 1980s, a time when the Chinese military was looking to enhance its armored vehicle capabilities. Up until then, most Chinese armored vehicles were inspired by foreign designs, but Narinko, China's state-owned military manufacturer, had big plans to create something uniquely its own. After years of development and testing, the result was a 6x6-wheeled armored vehicle that would go on to serve in various military roles, the WZ-551. The WZ-551's design was straightforward yet effective. It's powered by a diesel engine that produces 320 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of 85 kilometers per hour and travel distances of up to 800 kilometers. For many military vehicles, having the right engine is crucial, and the WZ-551 didn't disappoint. Imagine this, a vehicle that could easily traverse highways and rough terrain, all while offering solid protection to its crew and troops inside. It was exactly the kind of vehicle the Chinese military needed. But there's something even more remarkable about the WZ-551, its amphibious capability. The WZ-551 isn't just limited to land travel. It can cross rivers and small bodies of water with ease, thanks to water jets mounted on the rear. This added a whole new level of versatility to the vehicle. Picture a battlefield where water obstacles stand between soldiers and their objectives. While many vehicles would be stranded, the WZ-551 simply glides across the water to continue its mission. As simple as its design may sound, the WZ-551 was engineered with precision. Its hull, made of welded steel, provides protection against small arms fire and shrapnel. This means that soldiers inside could have some peace of mind as they moved through dangerous terrain. The vehicle's wheels are suspended on an independent suspension system, ensuring a smooth ride even on the roughest paths. The vehicle's armor isn't the only thing that stands strong, its design does too. This isn't just a combat vehicle, it's a reliable partner on the battlefield. The versatility of the WZ-551 goes beyond its amphibious capability and robust design. It has served not just in one role, but in several. While the most common configuration is the Armored Personnel Carrier APC, which carries up to 11 soldiers in addition to the three-man crew, there's also a version with a turret, the Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFV. The IFV comes equipped with a 25mm autocannon and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, making it more suited for combat situations where firepower is essential. For comparison think of it like two cars, one is designed to carry people comfortably, while the other is equipped with a powerful engine and weapons to handle challenges head-on. The WZ-551 can do both. It can carry troops safely through enemy territory, but when the situation calls for it, it transforms into a formidable combat vehicle. Additionally, the WZ-551 can be adapted for different battlefield roles. There are versions of the vehicle equipped with anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs, allowing it to target enemy tanks from a distance. There's also a version with a 105mm assault gun and a self-propelled howitzer variant with a 122mm gun. This ability to be reconfigured for different missions is one of the key factors that has made the WZ-551 such a valuable asset to so many countries. But what about its initial performance? The WZ-551, when it first entered service in 1984, was known by the name Type 90. At first it was a bit of a rough start. While it performed well in some areas, the vehicle's cross-country ability wasn't quite up to par. This is where the vehicle's development took an important turn. To address these issues, the design was revised, leading to the WZ-551A, also known as the Type 92. The modifications made the vehicle more reliable and better suited to different terrains, making it a much more effective solution for Chinese and foreign military forces alike. The WZ-551A's success didn't stop there. Norinko continued to improve upon the design, introducing the WZ-551B, which further refined the vehicle's mechanical reliability, firepower, and agility. 
this newer model would be the one to reach even more international markets, with countries from around the world recognizing its value. The adoption of the WZ551 by so many countries is a testament to its design and versatility. The vehicle has been used by nations like Algeria, Argentina, Bangladesh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Chad and Indonesia. It has become a key player in countries where budget considerations are important, but where military forces still need a reliable and capable vehicle. The WZ551 has proven that you don't need to rely on the more expensive Western or Russian offerings to get a vehicle that can do the job. The WZ551 provides a solid and cost-effective solution. Think about it, for these countries, investing in the WZ551 means they can equip their military forces without breaking the bank. They don't need to choose between affordability and effectiveness. The WZ551 offers both. It's no wonder that this armored vehicle continues to play a vital role in so many regions of the world. The WZ-551's journey didn't stop with its initial design or even the subsequent updates. It continues to serve as a model of practical engineering, one that demonstrates how a vehicle can adapt to the changing needs of modern warfare. From its basic role as an armored personnel carrier to its specialized versions with anti-tank missiles or assault guns, the WZ-551 has shown that versatility and innovation don't always have to come with a hefty price tag. As we look to the future, the WZ-551 continues to be a symbol of military ingenuity. It is a vehicle that can be counted on to get the job done, whether in the heat of battle, across rough terrain, or over water. It's not just a military asset. It's a reminder that the right tools can make all the difference on the battlefield. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the WZ-551 a truly unique armored vehicle. If you found this video informative and fascinating, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more incredible stories from the world of military technology. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and leave us a comment below, we'd love to hear your thoughts on the WZ551 or any other military topics you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.